Today, we are going to be talking about affiliate marketing. I've been in charge of our affiliate program for about six months now. And in those six months, we have doubled our affiliate count and almost tripled our revenue generated from affiliates. In this video, I will unpack a step-by-step -step guide on how you can expand your business by utilizing the full power of your affiliate program. From how to find affiliates, to how to convert them into partners and how to keep them engaged. We use some pretty cool growth hacking techniques, so stay tuned. First, let's quickly talk about who affiliates are and how they can be useful to grow your business. If you already have an affiliate program, you can skip ahead a couple of minutes to the bread and butter of this video. So an affiliate is like an influencer, except they are paid based on commission rather than being paid for simply generating content. This means that they are more like a partner than a supplier. They would only get paid if the traffic they are driving to your product is then converted into a paid plan. You get paid, and then you give them a share of the revenue. In the SAES industry, the standard affiliate commission ranges from 20 to about 30%. Affiliate marketing is a great way to grow your startup. You usually don't have to put up any money up front like you would for your influencer marketing program. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about how to build your influencer marketing program, check out the video here. Okay, back to affiliates. So affiliate marketing falls in the middle of user-generated content and advertising. It's not as organic as influencer marketing might be because the content they're generating has more of a sales push than usual and they're promoting a specific link in their profile to make sure the transaction is trackable and that, get, that they get paid. But it does look a lot like user-generated content because they would still have an audience of following and they would customize the content to fit that niche. The added bonus of running an affiliate marketing program is that even with the followers that don't convert into paying customers, you still get brand recognition. Your digital footprint will start to expand, which will pay out in the long run. When crafting your affiliate program, there are two main models that you will need to choose from. Either your model is product-based or user-based. Product-based affiliate programs tell the potential partners that every time you bring a customer to my product via the affiliate link, I will pay you a certain percentage of the revenue. It could be a percentage of the first transaction, or it could be based on a certain time frame. You bring in the customer to my product, they buy a subscription for let's say 10 bucks a month, and I'll give you 20% for a year which means two bucks across 12 months. You would use this model if you only have one product that your startup is selling. If you have multiple products in your ecosystem like we do, you would use the user-based model. We tell our affiliates that you are receiving a commission not from the product, but from the user. This means that as long as the user has registered anywhere in our ecosystem with the link that you receive, you will get commission no matter what they buy or when they buy it. They might have registered when they saw a video about a scraping tool, then they bought an outreach tool. You will still receive your commission. This also means that any future products we have in our innovation pipeline is also a revenue stream for our affiliates. If you brought in a user today and I launch a new product a month later from now, and they buy it, you will still receive your commission. Basically, we consider the user as the basis of our affiliate program. You brought in the user, you own a piece of that user's pie forever. Once you figure out what model you want to use, the next step is figuring out how you're going to track and pay commissions. Hypothetically, you could use your own development team and set up your own system, but I would recommend against it. First of all, spending costly resources on creating a software that you could easily subscribe to is kind of pointless. But more importantly, when you are just starting out your affiliate program, affiliates don't know you. You haven't built any trust. So what guarantees do they have that you're tracking the right transactions and you will pay what you owe them? For a startup, these risks are simply not worth it. We went with impact.com. Impact is an affiliate marketing resource that automatically generates contracts with the affiliates, generates the tracking links, tracks the transactions, and automatically pays the commissions. Now, yes, impact.com does have a cost, but if you're serious about your affiliate marketing program, then the investment is pennies compared to the upside. Okay, so at this point, you already have a model which you want to use and you have a solution to track and pay affiliates. So congrats, you have an affiliate marketing program set up. Now comes the grind. 
You have to find affiliates, run outreach to fill your pipeline, convert them into partners, and then keep them engaged. Let's start with how you find affiliates that are a good fit for your program. I'm sure every startup has their own way, but I will share my secret sauce on how we doubled our affiliates in just six months and almost tripled our revenue. We use the mix of brute force and some pretty cool hacking techniques. The first thing we did is create a list of products that have a great affiliate program, a list of SAS companies that have a bunch of affiliates and that might also be a good fit for our products. Once we had the list, we used an SEO backlink scraping tool. For example, we really like what SEMrush had done with their affiliate program, so we used the scraping tool Hexomatic and told the robot to scrape backlinks to SEMrush that included an affiliate tracking number in the URL. We then told the robot to scrape the email addresses and verify them. That gave us a giant list of potential affiliates with contact information. We did the same with all of the companies that had a good affiliate program. A quick manual pre-filter later and we had our final list. I'll put a link in the description below to the scraping tool we used. The second way we generated potential affiliates was through the discover function within impact.com. Impact has the added bonus of helping us find affiliates that would be best for us based on the data they already have about our affiliate program. It acts like an eBay for affiliates, so spend some time on getting your profile right and engaging with potential affiliates through the system. The third thing that we did on a consistent basis is brute force. We have an affiliate program manager that is on all of the social media groups about affiliates and influencers and tries to actively recruit them. She is always on the lookout in YouTube, Medium, Reddit, and anywhere else you might find product reviews, top 10 lists, product demos, anything that can fill our pipeline. The brute force method started paying dividends once we figured out that our approach should be use case based. So instead of just randomly searching for leads, we started by fixing a specific use case for our product, then looked for content that fits that use case. The creator of the content was then a potential lead. Once we exhausted that use case, we moved on to the next one and so on and so forth. We do all three of these approaches on a continuous basis. We generally generally aim to fill the pipeline with 100 new leads a week. If you have any tips and tricks on how you find affiliates, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, so at this point, you have your program set and you have generated a bunch of emails and contact information for potential affiliates. The next step is outreach. We started by just straight up emailing potential affiliates from the program manager's email. That didn't work. Then we decided to run an email campaign. We used Hexospark as our outreach tool and created full campaigns. The potential affiliate would get an icebreaker email, just a simple, you know, hi, this is who we are, here's what our products are, this is what our program looks like. If we didn't get a response, they would get a follow-up email three days later, offering them trial access to our product so they can review it. If they didn't answer to that, they would get a final email to try to close the deal. The call to action for all of the emails would be to drive traffic to our impact affiliate page to convert them into partners. This outreach campaign approach worked much, much better. We started getting some traction. Then we started digging deeper into the content of the email campaign. We realized that these leads are blasted with affiliate program emails every single day. So if we wanted to break through the noise, we needed to be better. In this case, better means show more effort and customize as much as possible. The final piece of the puzzle was video content. Instead of just sending out an email, we, we shot and edited content specifically for our affiliate leads. People prefer to get information from a short video rather than reading an email. This had the added benefit of showing our potential affiliates that we care about the program enough to spend time, money, and resources investing into creating tailor-made content. This is still what we do now, and it's been showing results. If you made it all the way to this part of the video, then first of all, thank you very much, and please hit that subscribe button to help us out. Last but not least, once you have your program set, you have your scrapers finding potential leads, and you have your outreach campaigns running, you need to keep your affiliates engaged. So you have a bunch of people selling your product but you need to boost the revenue they are generating. We did a couple of things here to help our affiliates along the way. First off, we created a page where affiliates can go to get new and fresh 
content, sort of a file server where we uploaded product demos, tutorials, ad campaigns, promo concepts, art and design work, use cases, and so on and so on. Affiliates want to sell, but for them to create content on a consistent basis is time consuming and hard. We want to give them a helping hand and make the content creation process as frictionless as possible. The more we can help them, the more content they can distribute, the better results we will ultimately have. The second thing we did was to engage them directly through strategy meetings we called war rooms. We do mass Zoom calls with our affiliates where we fill them in on what the opportunities are, how to make more money, what new content is being uploaded onto the server, what's new in the affiliate program, and what we have coming in the pipeline so they can prepare accordingly. Of course, this is a two-sided street, and we also ask them for feedback on how we can improve and make their selling process smoother. I always tell my students to actually listen and not just wait their turn to speak. This is the time to really listen to what the affiliates are saying. They are in the front lines and the information they can provide is invaluable. I gotta say, when I first started working on the affiliate program, I was a bit skeptical about the actual impact on our startup. But I've changed my mind. Affiliate marketing is not only a tool for growth, but it's a strategic business process that has boosted our overall digital footprint. By using the methods above, we have doubled the affiliate count and tripled the revenue. No stopping here though. On to the next chapter. See you next week.